Okay guys, so today we're going to NASA. So for any of you guys who've been watching the vlogs for a few months, you might remember this moment. So I just had a really, really good meeting. The idea is, and we're gonna do it then. It sounds awesome already. And then after that, so the idea is that me and you, will, really? you'll have like, on it. This might be the coolest thing. <laughs> Ever. Well, the bits that you missed out of that clip were me telling Alex that we were going to be going to Florida to visit NASA and the Kennedy Space Center and we're going to be doing astronaut training. <laughs> Insane. So today we're kicking off the whole trip with the astronaut training experience in Florida and we're becoming astronauts today. <laughs> Okay, so you might be wondering why this random trip came about. Um, so Olympus Cameras came to me and said, what did you want to be when you were younger? So I either wanted to be a ballerina or an astronaut. I literally was obsessed with space. I had like big prints of planets and astronomy prints all over my walls. I really, really wanted to be an astronaut. And then I realized I wasn't very good at science. So I gave up that dream. But Olympus wanted to make my childhood dreams come true. So they have organised this whole trip, they sent us to Florida so that we could go to the Kennedy Space Centre, we could be astronauts for the day, I'm just, yeah, so, so excited. So this whole vlog is going to be all about our space astronaut experiences, all with Olympus. This is a paid for advertorial with Olympus as well, because it's all shot on Olympus cameras, and I'll link everything down below in terms of what was shot when, and on what cameras, just so you guys know. I'm excited to try out whatever this is. Okay. All right, you ready? Yeah. Oh, oh my picture God. opportunity. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Great. Head now in three, two, one. How are you feeling? Oh. <laughs> the blood's coming back to me now. <laughs> you were like screaming with happiness. <laughs> it was, it was fun, it was fun. You're definitely gonna have a go, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be honest with you, we have it on the second fastest setting. Oh. All right, starting up in three, two, one. A combination of all of them. Yeah. White. Nine, three. Okay. Two, oh. White is the combination of all of them. Yes. How did you take that? So me and Alex are now fully trained astronauts. How are you feeling? Feeling a little better now. Yeah. Alex didn't get at all travel sick then. Motion sick. I didn't feel great. <laughs> Everyone thought you'd gone to the toilet to throw up after. Really? <laughs> 
Okay, we've moved hotels, we've checked into a hotel really, really near to Kennedy Space Centre. And to what we're doing tonight, so we're going on a little trip today with Dayway Tours. They do this insane paddleboarding experience where you go out onto a lake on a paddleboard in the evening at night and look out at the stars. It sounds insane and that's what we're doing tonight. So we're ready for experience number two. So we made it to Dayway Tours, very very excited. So we're on our own private tour, which we didn't actually realise until we got here. God, I look very tanned on here. Um, we're literally in the middle of Titusville. Titusville. I think it's called, so it's kind of like out in the sticks. So mosquitoes are eating Alex alive right now. <laughs> Looks great, um, it? And this lighting makes me look extremely orange. Yeah, so we're going out on this private tour. We're going over to the oceans. So we're driving out now. This is so exciting. This is just like such a cool experience. I cannot actually wait. We're going to get so many cool shots from this. Fingers crossed. Okay, we've arrived. I don't even know if you can see me. <laughs> it's super dark. We've just got a little light on in the van. So we've just made our way down to like the shoreline. And we're going to be heading in on paddleboards. And now it's going to be on a kayak. My hair is already feeling the humidity. <laughs> a like sweaty Florida thing going on but so excited about this it's gonna be a really really cool experience unlike anything else we've ever ever done in the dark so excited about it can't wait to show you guys what we're doing so these are our paddle boards this is so cool oh nice they are huge yeah yeah <gasps> they're a lot bigger than I thought they were gonna be they're good cruisers wow that is incredible. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, guys, but this is my paddleboard on the water with these green lines. How cool is this? And it's completely pitch black out there. I mean, you won't be able to see this on the camera, but you can just see a little bit of the horizon line over NASA. We're literally looking right at NASA from here. And then we're just going to be going out onto this river, uh, which kind of leads into the ocean from here. This is going to be amazing. And again, you won't be able to see, but up here you can see all the stars and you can just about see the Milky Way is coming out. Okay, I don't know how bright this is. So, we're going to head out now on our paddle boards. Well, actually, I'm on the paddle board. Everyone else is on kayaks because we want to get some like really cool shots. And the chances are that I'm probably going to fall in and they won't. So bright, my god. Okay, we've just been taking some pictures for my Instagram. Hopefully you've seen them so far. It's just taken us quite a while to get these really like slow shot speed pictures in the actual river. So I hope you like them. And now we're finally gonna go out. I'm gonna go on a kayak now just in case it's a little bit more safe for me because it is pitch black. Uh, we're gonna go do that and um, yeah, bring you along with us. And we are going to go. Oh, I can't see a thing now, but we're just, we're just looking around for all the different like wildlife. Oh, it's just amazing. This is so bright. Oh, hello! You're not going to be able to see them. Oh, there they are! Oh, hello! Little jelly guy! Oh, they're so funny! Oh, hello! Do they not, can they not move? Can they swim? But They, they can't. can, yeah. We'll put them in a jar and we'll see how they move. Wow! They just came out with some research recently. The jellyfish, they have their, they kind of have a very basic nervous system. They don't have a brain, but they have a very basic nervous system. It actually has the ability to regenerate itself, wow. which is pretty uncommon, extremely uncommon in the animal kingdom. Yeah, so if you rip him in half, rip a chunk off, that'll regrow. Right. It's, even the neurons, they have a nerve net, it's what it's called. Not a brain, but a nerve net. In that same study, they were talking about how if you ever wanted to pretty much see an alien, because these guys are so genetically different, than anything else in the animal kingdom. Wow. Th this is pretty much the closest thing that you, we have to an alien. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Right there. So not many spines or anything, so you don't need them. Oh my gosh, wow! Hello! You might... What are they? Just like... They're mullet. It's a mullet. They'll get about two feet long. And you can't catch them on a line. No, nope, can't catch them on a line. They eat uh, grass. <laughs> Victoria's regretting the jeans. <laughs> really? Well, it's either that or having my thong. Um, I love what you've done with my clean shirt as well. I managed to get that yeah, way, didn't you? <laughs> and my hair. And I wore swimming shouts. Oh, I didn't have swimming shouts. <laughs> Did you enjoy that? Oh, it's so brilliant. So it was really good. I, I'm really Amazing. worried that we didn't catch of what it was though. I really don't think yeah, we have. I know, I know. It's, it's one of those things, isn't it, that you've just got to experience you straight just, off the bat. You've got to be here in the dark. Oh, it was it's brilliant. Absolutely amazing. So good. Really good. You're blinding me. <laughs> Guess 
where we are. We are at NASA today, we're at the Kennedy Space Center, we've just been dropped off, it is like 7am, we've had like 4 hours sleep. Today is a big, big, big day, this is like one of the main reasons why we're here in Florida, to visit NASA, to do a full photo shoot at the Kennedy Space Center. This is like my childhood dreams come true times 1,000 million. <laughs> so I've got all my outfits with me, I've got a full set of Ted Baker outfits, I've got 4 outfits to shoot four locations. I'm going to bring you along with me to watch this. I actually have no words. <laughs> Let's just up a splash. So this is the rocket garden. This is just amazing. I'll try film this lens. Okay, so this is outfit one. Love this little bag. Location one, complete. This place is insane. This is Atlantis. This has been up into space 33 times and it's now here. I'm like, just, it, this is just mind blowing to me. <laughs> like as someone that's always been so interested in space and like amazed by it, it's just incredible. Check this out. This is amazing. This music is so fitting for this. It's just epic. Okay, we've made it over to the second area. We're, we're inside Mission Control. This is a real setup of Mission Control. I can't actually touch it, but this is just so, so exciting being in here. This is just awesome. We're just gonna try and get the lights on so we can take some pictures here. And oh my God, I can't wait to show you the Saturn V rocket because it's out of this world. Look at this, oh. Okay, shot is done. We're gonna move on to the very, very last shot now with the Saturn V rocket. This is by far the coolest photo shoot I have ever, ever, ever done. Check this out, guys. Amazing, and we've got it all to ourselves. This is just the best day ever, 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 ever. I cannot wait to show you these pictures. If these are already out by now, I will put them up on the screen. Go and have a look at my Instagram and have a look at them. And there will also be a full blog post with every single picture from this shoot. The biggest thank you ever to Kennedy Space Center for letting us in here and NASA for our Olympus project. Our Olympus Pen Passion Project. Honestly, it's been the most insane day. And we've only got like more to go as well. We're gonna go around Kennedy now, look at everything else, but insane. Okay guys. The best photo shoot ever. <laughs> I am back in my other clothes and we are just on our way now for another bus tour. Yeah, we're having the best time. Honestly, it's just awesome. I'm so glad we got to come here. It's just, I feel so lucky. So we've just been doing a presentation in here and there's a big door closed and then it opens and then Atlantis is just here. That was just so cool. <laughs> Such a badass opening. How many million miles? Oh, it's about 126 million miles or something like what the hell? That was so epic the way it opened up. That was so <laughs> epic, wasn't it? Mind blowing opening. With the mind blowing reveal that's of a great, Atlantis. That's actually, I mean, I know we've had a little look round, but I mean, if you just got to NASA for the first time, yeah, that's how it is. Yeah, I want to get me one of these spacesuits. <laughs> so cool. Okay, so we're going to go now to have lunch with an astronaut. A buffet lunch. <laughs> you, do, you take off your shoes? You have to. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Are you loving it? <laughs> You're not lying. No. Never too old. <laughs> okay, tell me when. You should count me down. Three, two, one. Dating. <laughs> that was an awesome day, wasn't it, babe? I really enjoyed it. It definitely lived up to the height of what I thought it was. Awesome. Awesome, awesome day. Educational, exciting, informational, great for photo shoots. <laughs> Five star. <laughs> Five star. Five star. Okay, guys, so. Ooh, I can get my voice back. You're right, you sound better already. Oh, it's good back. Oh, wait, that's good. Um, so. Today is a super, super special day, super exciting day. Um, I've lost my voice 
because I mean all the days a little bit jumbled in the past few vlogs just so I could keep all the relevant footage together and everything like that yeah so my throat really bad I've had a really really bad cold so that's why anyway very 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 special day so with everything that we've been doing on this trip it's all been for the Olympus Pen Passion Project. It's been in the planning for so long and it was all about kind of me being able to experience my childhood dream of going into space or being an astronaut or going to NASA and it was all so exciting. So first off we did astronaut training so I could train to be an astronaut. Then we went to the kayak tours and went on oh, yeah. the we went on the river into the ocean and looked up at the stars. We were stargazing with an astronomer and then we went to NASA to see all the rockets and the spaceships and, and to kind of get immersed in all of that for the day. And then this today we just got back from zero gravity. Okay guys, so as you can see, all first of all, as you can hear, I've lost my voice from my illness, but we're about to go on a zero gravity flight. I'm so right I've not told anybody this is happening. This is very, very exciting. I wish I could show how excited I was for my uh, awful voice right now, but it's gonna be so amazing. Are you excited? I don't really know what to expect from the Oh, I'm much better now. You can actually <coughs> hear his ears popping. It's <coughs> and coughing. Mm -hmm. In bed with Alex and Nikki. <laughs> yeah, so we just got back now back to the hotel room and it was so amazing wasn't it yeah absolutely incredible that first bit was the best bit i think that when the you first, first zero e bit the first bit where you experience zero gra even because they, they do it in stages so what is it it's it's uh what is, what is it so the first martian. one marsh martian you feel like you're so you, what what you feel if you oh so it's what you feel if you were on mars and then lunar which is which is so you'd feel a third of your weight so you kind of come up a little bit yeah. But not like fully. And then the second two after that are lunar gravity. Yeah. So it's what you'd feel on Mars, which is like hard. That is if weird. Want to that was the one I feel like I enjoyed the most. Yeah, because you had more control. You could control still. yourself a little bit more. That kind of, it didn't make me feel sick at all either. No, I didn't feel too well on that one. And then you had complete zero gravity after that. Yeah. And that was, how many turns was that up and down? It was about 10 or more. Yeah. About Maybe 10. 12. The weirdest most awesome experience yeah so ever. cool trying to shoot like that in that those conditions yeah though. trying to take pictures because obviously he was everywhere upside down i was all everywhere so it was we were like either a... flying away from each other or flying into each other yeah because you try and touch like a wall or something and you just gently just touch it and you just suddenly yeah, just start fly fly away. Away. yeah you just fly away yeah it's crazy and then there's 
how many other people floating around, his legs yeah, all in the air. Yeah, legs in your face and feet in your face. <laughs> it oh, was, it was so much fun, honestly. It was so such an amazing experience that we'll, we'll talk about forever. Oh, yeah, without and, a doubt. you know, it's one of those kind of like once-in-a-lifetime experiences to do. Oh, it's amazing. So literally the plane is just going down and up and down. And so, so when, it go, when it goes, when it starts going up, you literally, you're on the floor and you feel twice your weight in gravity so you can barely lift your arms, everything's really heavy and you're like, you're just on the floor like this and then you can just feel the planes go like, and you start going that way and that's when you just, you just lift Honestly, if you try and like, if you lift your, try and lift your legs up off the floor when you're lying down, it feels like you've got tons of bricks. On yeah, it. it just feels like you've got bricks attached to them. Yeah. This would be a great workout. Yeah, if you're a brilliant abs. workout. But then the, you literally nobody even has to tell you to stand up because as soon as it hits zero gravity, you literally just start floating. You just come yeah, off the floor. Yeah, come straight off. Yeah. And your hair's going everywhere. I don't know if they caught the bits of it, but there was there was parts where I was just flipping. And it's the most oh. bizarre thing because you can just, you just try and do one front flip and you can just do as many as you want, but you yeah. can't like put your feet down to try and land. No. So you just end up just carry on going, carry on going, carry on flipping, even though you stood up straight. Yeah. It's so, so bizarre. It would have been cool if we had all the whole plane and you could just fly from oh, one yeah. side here. That would have been awesome. But I think it got to how many, how many turns and stuff we started to feel a bit, a bit funny. Oh yeah. So. <laughs> Yeah, so as you can probably imagine, a lot of you guys, if you've watched my vlogs, you'll know that I get really bad motion sickness. So we have been a little, we were really worried before we went on it that we'd get motion sick. So yeah. we took a few sickness pills, but I still got very ill. So I think it was on about the ninth go that yeah. I was actually sick. And I, but obviously we were in zero gravity at the time, and obviously Bro. things <laughs> zero gravity, <laughs> it, it, it just goes into pockets. So I was trying to be sick into this bag, and oh, it wasn't pretty, let's just say that. No, it that. wasn't. <laughs> let's just say that. And then I was a bit sick after that as well, because our body was like, what is going on? But it was funny, because you didn't really see mm. anybody else, because I, I only had my eyes on you, seeing if you were okay. Yeah. And then when, when it finished, I noticed everyone was like wiping the floor, because a woman in the group yeah. further down had thrown up all over the floor. Yeah. <laughs> God. So easy just to throw up there. Everyone was so it just pale. Hits, yeah. Yeah, at the very end, everyone was just ghostly white. Brown bags face. under their eyes, and everyone just kind of like looking at each other, like, yeah. like, is everybody else feeling the same? But then after about five minutes, you, you feel okay. So, so good, guys. Honestly, if any of you guys are really like up for this idea of doing it, it is so great. It's a lot of money, obviously, but mm. it's one of those once a lifetime things. You'll never do it again, and it's just such a cool experience. Yeah. So, what are we going to do now? Sleep. What time is it? We might have a nap. We might watch some episodes of the it's American half, Office. It's half three, yeah. Just chill in bed and then get ourselves ready in a bit and go out for some dinner. I only really feel like now it's starting to sink in what we've done. I we know. Actually, I know. We actually talk about the it. The time I was just like, I want this plane to land. So Unreal. Good. Unreal. So fun, guys. So it's about 8.30. Vic's been asleep for the past couple of hours. Haven't you? Yeah. You're feeling a bit better now. You definitely needed it, though. Yeah. Need all the sleep I can get. Your voice is sounding a little bit better, and Steady. you're not coughing as much now, no, are you? It's starting to come back. Yeah. I mean, we were just talking about it earlier, weren't we? Basically saying that if it was yesterday, the zero gravity. Oh my god, if it had been yesterday, no way. I could not have done it. You were really it's... bad. You've really been up and down, haven't you, with this, yeah. with this illness? It got better, and then it got worse, and it got better, and it got worse a few times. So, Victoria is a prime example of not taking time off <laughs> and relaxing. You get extremely ill. Yeah. You literally, that's all you've done. You've been ill and you've slept. But I can't imagine you doing zero gravity with how you were. How I was yesterday. Yeah, you I were could so. Barely move. I was yeah, so you were. Weak. We, that was it. We, we were walking through the uh, the airport yesterday yeah. and I was practically carrying you. I know. You were just, like, you were just dragging I, your feet. I felt like I was going to faint any minute. I had no energy left in me at all. Yeah. It was horrible. Mm. And so thank God. I, came around today. Unless it was just my body going, right, you're doing this today, so I'm going to give you a little bit more energy. Yeah, because that's how it works. <laughs> no, you'll be fine. We're going to have some food now, and then I have an early night, I guess. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty exhausted. And then we've got, tomorrow we fly out. What time? We only fly at eight. We've got the whole day just to like work, compile all of our stuff that we've been working on, and 
because you guys will have seen loads of stuff by now. In fact, you'll have seen everything. So everything, everything, everything. Yeah, by the time by the time these guys see this vlog, they'll have seen all the pictures. You won't have seen the footage, all the footage though. But you won't have seen. You well, might have seen little it. bits. This is it, no? Oh wait, yeah, you've just seen it. <laughs> I don't even know what day it is anymore. Yeah, so by the time you guys see this, you'll, this is everything we've been up to over the past 20. few weeks. And it's been months and months of planning to get us to this point. Yeah. So I'm so pleased. Going out of a bang this year, weren't we? Yeah. Pushing off the year, right? So if you haven't had a look at all the pictures from NASA, and from today. Hold on, so wait, there's, so there's Vegas. We had Vegas, we had Florida, we went to Universal, we went to Disney. NASA. We went to NASA astronaut training, we did, we did this today, zero gravity. Okay. Um, so yeah, so make sure you go across to my Instagram, at in the fro. Um, I'm so proud of all the images on there. We spent so long putting those together for you guys, just so you like them. So yeah. please go have a look at in the We're fro. We're always hunting for Beautiful backdrops, beautiful scenery. I know. And trying I to keep things interesting. I think we found them on this trip, so I really, really hope that you guys like them as much as we did making them. So how do we top zero gravity next, though? <laughs> Not happening.